Hey guys, what's up? We're about to run some hills. Keeper Hill where I've done many training in many a video log. So I'm coming back today to run nice and easy. Last yeah. week you would have seen I did 20 miles at aerobic threshold with two by 20 minutes at marathon effort. So I did 75 miles for the week last week and it was a pretty solid week. I had a marathon paced effort run in the middle of the week and then on Friday night I did six by one mile. So about about 20% of my volume last week was the top end of my um, lactate zone and uh, around marathon effort, so around the middle of it. And a uh, pretty solid week. And this week I don't feel like running another aerobic threshold long run. So I'm gonna be going to do time on my feet today and I'm gonna try to keep my heart rate down. It's gonna be very hard running up running up this hill, but I've got my heart rate strap on. And I think that um, the elevation is gonna be my friend today because they're gonna slow down to keep my heart rate low. And, you know, it means I'm gonna be running up the hill a bit slower. So, it's gonna benefit me. And if I, if I feel good at the end, I'm gonna try to run for about two hours. If I feel good, I might do a couple of hill, hill reps then. I haven't done any of those in a while. A couple of hill blasts and um, I class them as a, a VR2 max workout, depending on how many I do, so we'll see. It looks like it's a bit misty up there, so it could be a bit wet. That's no problem, you know, these are the ones that are gonna make you, they're gonna give you the mental strength, and today, time on the feet, is something I, I always do, something I like to do, especially around the two hour, 30 minute mark, and, you know, getting my body conditioned to run for two and a half hours, and I think it's very important. And I wanna kind of get these done a little bit earlier now, get them out of the way, so when I start getting a bit specific in my training, doing a lot more marathon pace stuff in my long runs or maybe kind of sessions. At least I know I have um, have my base kind of covered and because of the shorter steps, I'm gonna be doing a lot a lot of foot strikes today. So it's getting my body ready for that impact of race day, I suppose, when you're on your feet for 26 miles. And these are the days that are gonna, gonna give me the foundation, I suppose, to be able to run marathon pace and, Give me the strength, I suppose, to keep keep that pace going. If you if you look back to Chicago, I, I faded at the end, but it was only an, it was inevitable, like because I hadn't done any long runs, and you know I'm gonna address that before I go to Tokyo, hopefully, and um, should get there pretty strong, hopefully, if this uh, osteitis pubis stays away. But today is gonna tell a lot because I haven't done hills in a long time. So this is something I do when I don't want to be running fast around the road. I use gravity and the elevation to give me the same stimulus and it'll be very easy for me to go into threshold today going up this mountain so i'm going to try going to try keep it sensible and slow down if i have to like i said time on the feet today so the slower i go the longer i'm out there i'm going to go up and kind of come back down and i might add on another bit just to see can i get that two hours two two hours plus time on the feet and uh, find um, a steep hill and do some reps just a little pit stop to adjust the heart rate strap. I'm running very easy, feels very easy. And the heart rate went up to 153. I know that's fake, because I was running on the flat. If I was going up a steep path, I'd say something. So I'm just after wetting it with some water. And um, I'm going to go again. I want, uh, I want to stay in control today, so I want this heart rate strap to be working. So we'll see what she's at now on 20. And if you are going using your heart rate strap and you see, see that it's up very high and you're going easy and you know it's easy, chances are you didn't wait it enough. So don't be afraid to stop if you have to. If you really want to get, if you really want to get the data, and if you really want to stay controlled, because when you're going easy, you're probably not generating enough sweat that the contact stays moistened. And what happens then is it just starts giving false readings because it's not making a correct contact. So you can adjust it on the fly or you can stop and do it. Now it's starting to get a little bit steep. 
on Torty. It'll start climbing now, but I'm gonna keep it controlled. Just so I don't antagonize this groin. Especially going up and down these hills when your hips are being asked to do a lot of a lot of rotation. So I'm gonna keep it nice and easy. 135. This is where the hills do their do their part. <laughs> So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to keep this pace now, this effort, 138, it's climbing up already. I'm gonna keep this, hopefully till I get the last part of the climb, which is very steep. And um, I'll nearly have to walk to keep my heart rate down. We'll see, we'll, we'll, we'll trot up this, take it easy. There's a biker ahead. What do you do when you see a biker? You try to beat him up the hill, don't you? Not today. But, you know, I lose him as a pacer. Halfway up, the heart rate is exactly where I want it to be. Aerobic threshold. And I'm only jogging, look at this. Just getting one foot in front of the other, but this pace that I view now correlates to 615, 620 pace on the roads. So it's very easy to push too hard. And before I did, I just go up hard. I did a lot of hills because I suppose the hills were my main aim. But now it's all about Tokyo. And if my legs respond to the hills, I don't feel too bad. I'll incorporate more of them. Because it's a lot easier for me to run aerobic church all up here and feel easy and enjoy it than it is doing fast pace runs on the road. So, so I had a good benefits of hills. Doesn't feel as, doesn't feel as taxing. It's a lot more enjoyable. Definitely a lot more enjoyable running around the hills than it is on the road. I find it anyway. Some of you would argue with that. <laughs> it's not a lovely fire rod sometimes. They're felling some trees, so not ideal. Ah. Not ideal conditions. More like cross country. I won't be walking through the house in these shoes later, or else I'll be getting a slap of a mop. You know what I mean? Hill running, it's lovely they said. <sighs> I'm getting an extra stimulus. I have to carry two stone and muck. Here we are, the final climb. One of the main benefits that I think hill running gives you is being able to pace. When you go back onto the road, just get a feel for how your body's feeling. You know, when it comes to hill racing, some guys are better climbers than you. You might be better on the downhill. And a lot of times you can just go off and try to hang on behind them and end up just blowing up. So you have to get the pacing right to suit your style. And if you go and do a few hill runs, you're gonna learn a lot about yourself. And you can bring it back to your road racing. 143, 144. I have to rightly slow it down now. But I will. <laughs> that extra push up these hills 
So it's asking my body for a bit more, a bit more energy. Yeah, we'll slow it down. We'll see. Can I get to the top and keep it green? Camera down, ground level, I suppose. The wind is gone. One hour, 34 minutes on the clock. So I'm gonna just jog around now, try to get up to that two hour mark. And then I'm gonna find somewhere steep and do a couple of hill blasts. Fill up those muscles with lactate and let the body do its thing to recycle it. I don't know how many I'm gonna do. I think there's a segment up here, it's two or 300 meters. It's pretty steep, about 25% maybe. And I'm going to be swimming in it. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it, not after doing two hours around here, but I think that was the first time I went up to keep a hill summit and stayed in the green zone aerobic for the whole for the whole lot if you go back to the last time i was up here when i was doing my first video for the chicago marathon i think my heart rate was one on 65 or something goes to show you how you adapt just keep getting out there The two hours are up. I'm just at the top of the segment. I don't know if you can see how steep it is, but trust me, it is pretty steep. I don't know how many I'm gonna do, but my muscles are gonna be swimming. It's probably about 250 meters and there's no flat bits, it's just 250 meters of pain. It's time to take off the vest and go for a swim, a lactate swim. The warm up is over. Just leave that here. 250 meters of pain. Woo. One rep down. That was very hard minute and 26 seconds let's go uh. oh shit Ooh. I'm 55 swimming I'm gonna do one more. That was tough. When you haven't, when you haven't did them in a while, they really start to burn. Doing, doing two hours warm up doesn't help. One more. The session is over. A pretty solid day and we'll go over to that. 
Just gotta get back up here at once. I'm not looking forward to it. I managed three. Didn't feel good at all as you would when, it, when it's been so long since I've been back on the hills, but I'll use that hill as a benchmark. And um, I think from, from the start to the very top, the first one I did it in one minute, 26 seconds. So I reckon after a couple of weeks, I'll get it down to maybe 110, something like that. I'll definitely knock 15 seconds off it. I just needed to blow the cobwebs off and they're well and truly blown off now. It's time to head back to the car and we'll uh, review the data. Woo! Hey guys, what's going on? That was enjoyable. So that's the longest I've ran on the hills since I was training for the Morris Mullins. And uh, I really enjoyed that run today. Really enjoyed it. Nice and easy, I suppose, up to aerobic thresholds. And I was very happy that my, my, my body kind of held up. I didn't feel anything. I didn't have any niggles. And I was worried maybe coming down, I'd have some pain with this heel spur. And um, I didn't have any issues at all whatsoever. You know, the heel spur now, like I said, it's kind of, it's kind of gone to an afterthought now. I feel it in the morning when I wake up, but that's about it. So it's really improved and I can really, um, really run now without even thinking about that. I actually forget about it most times until I wake up in the morning and then, uh, then I feel it. Or if I'm sitting down for a while, um, the fascia, I suppose, tightens up a bit. So sometimes I just carry a ball with me and it helps and I can get up when I get up off the chair. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel problematic. So that's good. So it was a solid week. It was my biggest week in nine months maybe nine ten months and I did 75 miles for the week big week solid week happy out with that and if you think about my last session last week I had that 20 miler and I came into this week then obviously with a bit of fatigue I did an extra 10 miles and I did two really good sessions I suppose the first session in the week was 7.5 miles at marathon pace and I said before the days of me Going out and running without warming up um, are gone, but I was actually really stuck for time and um, I had a small window to do it and um, I managed to do 7.5 miles. If you look at the splits there, it took me a while to get going before I could, I could come out on my lunch break and just belt out some um, some fast paced sessions, but now I definitely, I definitely do feel like I need to warm up with this um, osteitis pubis because it just feels like I'm not firing for a while and I don't want to kind of push it I don't want to try force the pace so if it doesn't come natural I'm just going to go with it and um, obviously 5.45, 5.46 and then I kind of started getting into started getting uh, into a bit of a flow warming up and um, I tried to push the pace a bit for the last couple of miles just so I could get it down and my heart rate then I think it was max heart rate 155, which is very good. You know, if you look how steady that was, if I can get to the if I can get to the the 13 mile mark um, down the line and my heart rate's like that, I'd be very very happy. If you know my training from last year, you know how I operate, and um, it was it did feel hard. Don't get me wrong, it felt hard, and I didn't feel like I would be able to do 16 at marathon pace. Um, after doing that but you know that's going to come in time i hope anyway but it's a good it's a good um it's a good session so martin pace and then i met niall again and um rather than doing like maybe four minutes we, we actually bumped up to miles so the session was miles uh six by a mile of two minutes um kind of float recovery I think it was about maybe six six forty five pace on the floats. It was just just go with it like weren't really worrying about it too much. In terms of my heart rate, it didn't pass like the threshold. If you look at that bar, that little glitch there on the on the warm up miles, and uh, I sorted that out. I put um, put some water on my strap again. It happens a lot. My heart rate monitor for some reason, if it's not warm, if it's not um, if it's not wet, it just starts going up, shooting off high numbers. And um, that's something I learned over time, you know, um, I just nip it in the bud. And um, if you look at the 160 bar, which is what the VO2 Max said was my LT, 
I had a couple of beats of spear, maybe five beats of spear every rep. So I was running five or six a mile. Now, where I train in Raheen, it's probably one of the fastest places you can ever train. It's a one mile loop. It's really fast. And I always run fast there anyway, you know, I wouldn't be able to run that fast if I was doing the reps on somewhere where there was a slight incline. I definitely feel a lot more, but um, it's still, you know, still running at a certain effort and I, I really enjoy training there. I think it's, it's, a, it's an unbelievable place to run fast and you definitely run, you definitely overperform there, I, I think anyway. It was a solid session. So if you look at that, so the, the six miles, and two minutes off, so about seven miles altogether for the session. And um, again, just under like the threshold, it was really good. If you look at my heart rate for the marathon pace run, you see a little kind of um, a little drop there. So my legs opened after after about five k. So I stopped to stopped to tie it because it was annoying me. And um, I drove on again, and you can see like my heart rate stayed super steady, even though I was dropping it down to five thirty a mile. And they're um they're they're very big positives for me, you know. I haven't gone red, we'll say, in any of those sessions, and I came away feeling strong. So there are things that I can build on again going forward. Obviously, I'm going to add more miles on to my marathon pace runs. And because I did marathon pace um in the week this week, I wanted my long run in to be more kind of time on the feet because I already did two big sessions. I already did maybe twenty percent of my mileage you know in the lactate zone and um, I didn't want to be kind of doing a big session today after that so that's why I said I'll do time on the feet and I'll do a couple of year two max reps so that was my that was my long one today and you know if, if you looked at that um, if you look at my heart rate for the long run it was my longest run in it's best my longest run since I was training for the Morris Mullins and I knew it was going to be hard going up the hill so it was very easy for me to get my heart rate up and um, I was kind of aiming for the 140 and um, you know after about 10 minutes when I got to the steep part I had another 4 miles to go and uh, 4 and a bit miles so about 40 minutes of the, the first part of the session was um, up near aerobic threshold and if you were to I suppose rejig that session and put it on the road it'd be like running easy and then doing a fast finish, like down the aerobic threshold, um, 6, 6.30, 6, up to 6.15 for me, depending on what shoes I'm wearing. So, you know, even though it was easy, it was very easy for me, it was, there was still a, a nice bit of a, a stimulus in it for me, and without overstressing my body. And the reps, the reps, the hill reps then at the end, you know, I had two hours of running in my legs around the hills. At that point, I had about 2,800 uh, feet of elevation. Like, legs were tired. And I, I got three reps and I found it very hard as you do. You know when you're doing a hill race and um, you feel that feel that burn in your legs and you know that you're working really hard and you think why do I do this? Why do I do these hills? You know, I felt that today and it was my first time feeling it for a long time. And um, yeah, I don't miss it anyway. I definitely don't miss that. Adding hills to your workouts is um is very good, you know. It's very easy for me to jog around the hills and get two two hours, thirty three minutes time on my feet and actually enjoy it. If I do an easy run on the road and I'm doing two and a half hours, I'm 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 probably doing twenty two miles. I didn't feel like I wanted to do twenty two miles today, so the hills are the hills are great for that, like so it was a, it was a pretty solid week. I'm very happy with that. My weight is still the same. I'm 71.5. I weighed myself this morning um, before breakfast, 71.5 kgs. So it's uh, debatable whether I will make the cut for next week. I said I wanted to do it before Christmas and um, I'm not sure what have we got. So Sunday, so we've got eight days, eight days. And um, I, I weighed myself after the run and I was 70.5. So I lost the kg in terms of um you know the run and taking on 500 mils of water so 71.5 is my weight and um i'm probably i'm probably not going to see the 69 i'm not sure if i'm gonna if i'm gonna try and force it i could honestly i could if i wanted to be 69 in a couple of days i could and um i'd find it very easy to do if i wanted to but 
um, I want to I want to kind of um, lose weight properly now and be strong. And I've been feeling very strong in my sessions, um, especially this week. Like I felt really comfortable in it. It's, and um, I've been fueling really good from I've been eating a lot of carbohydrates when I'm doing my fast sessions and um, you you definitely need to um, give yourself the fuel to 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 perform well in those sessions um, before I could I could do a lot of sessions with um, without eating anything but you know when you're running hard when you're running in that lactate zone anyway your body's primarily using carbohydrates and you really need to you really need the fuel to give it what it actually needs and um, they're going to make your sessions a lot more beneficial as well and there are things that I definitely do now the days of just running um, without really kind of fueling properly for me are gone and I really put a lot of focus on eating eating the right amount of carbohydrates um, with the run I was doing today I had I had a lot of carbohydrates yesterday I had, a, I had a lot of Pringles as well, if you want to call them carbohydrates, but, um, you know, I knew that I was going to be on the hills for a long time today, so I, I fueled well last night. I got up, had my, my usual porridge and coffee, and um, went up and enjoyed it. And next week, we probably won't have much time for YouTube, because we'll be busy opening presents and eating food, boxes of celebrations, boxes of roses, boxes of Cadbury's, if I if I hit that sixty nine, I'll probably open up a big Toblerone airport size and uh, have a couple of squares off that. You know that'll be my reward then, and um, we'll get going again. So sure. going forward, if you want to implement some hills into your own training, just make sure you give give them the respect, especially going up. If your heart rate's going to be really high, um, if you're going up and you've been running for half an hour and your heart rate's elevated, you know in the lactate zone or higher you know put that down in your training as a lactate training session like even though i mightn't feel and and the, the splits might not say whatever pace that you're normally used to going they're going to be way slower my splits today for aerobic threshold were eight fifty nine minute miles and i'm i'm still working the same as i would if i was on the flat doing 615 so thank you guys for watching that was another successful week keep the questions coming keep the comments coming and hopefully I will see y'all soon. Take care.